Hello viewers, welcome to our program, Economy Uncovered, which will be coming to you every week on PR Nigeria YouTube channels and social media platforms with me at Nan Mukhtar. The program aims to engage experts, stakeholders, and policymakers in a constructive dialogue to promote economic growth and development. Today we are going to look at the tax reform bills that were sent to the National Assembly two months ago. The report says that there are any last minute changes the goal actually the presidency will withdraw these tax reform bills. This is owing to controversy generated by the four bills which were sent to the parliament by the president. Tunibu on the 3rd of September 2024, the 14th meeting of the National Economic Council presented over by Vice President Kashi Shatima yesterday recommended the withdrawal of the tax reform bills. The recommendations came after governors of the 19 northern states who met in Kaduna on Monday alongside prominent Chinese from the region, resolved, among others, to reject the Nigerian tax reform bill. With me in the studio is Manan Ibrahim Mishomi Aya, chairman of the Ariwa Economy Forum from the we are welcome, sir. Thank you very much. The tax reform bill was a law that will enhance uh, uh, tax reforms in the country and will help in you know, blocking leakages and uh, centralize the issue of generating revenue in the country. What is your take on that? Well, uh, we quite agree with the federal government on the issue of leakages and uh, collection of taxes. We agree that uh, there, are some, there are a lot of leakages in the collection of taxes. Uh, and uh, from what we have read in the tax reform bill, I don't think uh, much of the issues that uh, lead to the leakages are much addressed. Well, uh, the, as far as we are concerned, as far as our economic program is concerned, uh, the issue of tax leakages have to do with uh, institutional and institutional framework in the federal government. Uh, when the government makes issue about uh, getting people in the tax mix, we believe that the uh, government should try as much as possible to be honest in that statement, widening the tax mix. No, it's not about widening the tax mix, it's just about making people, the citizens, responsible and addressing issues that make citizens not to pay tax. Addressing issues that make citizens not to pay tax. Not uh, bills or uh, trying to make uh, create gimmicks around it. The issues that have people that make citizens not to pay tax is, has to do with the transparency of ta tax administration and the utilization of tax, uh, tax uh, funds. People are wary of paying honestly with the view because of the view that uh, their tax monies are not justifiably used for their welfare. If people are, are, are convinced that the money that they pay to government as taxes will be utilized for the betterment of their lives, they will definitely pay taxes. People were paying taxes before. So I think uh, one thing the government has to address is the issue of transparency and the issue of corruption. And this goes to the leakages that we're talking about, institutional leakages. If the framework is well and robust and is being implemented well, well that will be any leakages because there is no company operating in Nigeria that has no one registration or the other that government can lay its hand on to make sure that that, that company or that individual is within the tax net. So there, there shouldn't be any dogon tourancy in Hausa. Long grammar in this issue is government to do its work as it should do. Not making high quality. Uh, yeah, but uh, as the chairman of the Ariwa Economic Forum, you realize that uh, this uh, issue or the controversy is coming from the northern elites. Uh, it's focusing on the issue of the VAT alone, the value added tax. Like, northern elites are not comfortable with the new law, uh, more especially on the value added tax, and that even prompted. So what, what the, the northern elites is talking about how the money is going to be distributed when after collection. And what they are saying now, what the tax bill is saying is that the money is going to be distributed based on the irrigation. And the way tax uh, the VAT is being collected is at the point of production. Let me just give you an instance. Uh, if you produce Indonesia Lagos, it's mostly consumed a lot because we have the highest population. Yeah. So, but they are saying that the Indonesia tax, the VAT of Indonesia, is going to be collected in Lagos and it's going to be given to Lagos the government because it's produced in Lagos. Just an instance. If you do undertake uh, any banking activity in the north, and you know we have had tremendous 
increased in uh, financial inclusion more than Nigeria because of the advent of the POS. So a lot of people across the north and the internet uh, revolution that was brought about by Minister South Africa. So there's a lot of in internet uh, uh, penetration in northern Nigeria now, more than 200% increase and more of uh, financial inclusion. So any transaction done on POS, the is, that is changed. So the vote goes to, let's say, for example, maybe that is headquartered in Marina, Marina. Not at the point of where the transaction happens. Yeah. So the person paying that tax is paying tax to where it's, it's not going to benefit him. So what we're saying is that instead of uh, collecting VAT, which is a multi layer tax, for the uh, and the federal government is also saying that it wants to reduce the burden of tax, yeah. what we're saying is that reduce it to a simpler tax that will be easily collectible, that will widen the tax net, that there will be more inclusion of people paying the tax. And that the tax derivation will be based on actual utilization of the resource that we're talking about. So, if the resource is being utilized in the matter, the tax should go to the registered government, not uh, UBA that is headquartered in Lagos or Indonesia that is headquartered in uh, Lagos. That's what we're saying. And uh, that's why we're saying that the federal government should look at it in such a way that it will be, uh, that they should adopt a, uh, a framework that will be easy to collect and easily to be seen. Don't you think that there is an ethnic uh, coloration to sabotage the lot? The way the present administration is going about this uh, issue of tax reform, I think it uh, needs to do more in uh, getting opinions, expert opinions on what they want to do with the tax regime. Uh, we all agree that there is a need to, more, uh, to collect more taxes in Nigeria because Nigeria is one of the least uh, countries when it comes to collecting pollution taxes. But we, we, we ask the federal government to make sure that uh, when you are collecting, make sure that they do it right. And when it is buzzing, make sure that they are fair. There should be transparency. Much more than that. Yeah. Much more than transparency. It should, apart from transparency in action, uh, in words, there should be transparency in action. Now,